and this is the special edition Pikachu 3DS XL unboxing with a Zag Invisible Shield uh, maximum coverage installation. Slide everything out of the box. Uh, first thing we see is the uh, AR cards and the uh, instruction manual. And just like every other uh, 3DS XL, along with the charger. And deep here in the inside is the 3DS XL. Wrapped in its uh, plastic. There you go. It's a little bit, it's not quite as shiny as what the other ones are. Uh, we'll pop it all the way open like this. It's white on the inside. It actually looks really nice. Uh, here's, an up, here's the regular 3DS XL red one. Um, look at it for a little bit of a comparison. Um, I think the white looks a lot nicer than what the black does. Uh, I'll go ahead and flip it over on the other side. Uh, as you can see, the Pikachu is on the back. The tail continues on to the, the back end of the, of the device. Uh, that's pretty much it, I mean, in terms of differences from regular XL. Uh, next thing we're going to do is install our maximum coverage and the shield. So what we've got here are the top screen protector, the backside coverage that has everything from the backside covering the stylus, Salus and SD card ports to the top side and the bottom side and then on this side we have the top portion along with the white wrap on the top. Um, the best thing to do when you when you install your invisible shields is to make sure that your hands are clean and free of any type of oils that you have on them. Um, or and then another thing that you want to do is spray your spray your fingertips with the invisible shield install glue that comes with your device to make sure that you don't get any fingerprints on the underside of your of your shield. Uh, we'll start off by putting on the back side. Uh, it's best to start off with something that not a lot of people are going to look at in case you don't do the best job um, on the first piece. Um, these are a little bit bigger so they're a little bit harder to manipulate. Uh, the best part, the best thing to start off with doing is just peel it right off. It's not cut very well. Um, there's even perforation cuts for the um, the plastic feet on the back end of on the back side of the device so you want to make sure that you get those punched out when you're pulling it off of the paper. And the most important step in getting these installed and what a lot of people don't like doing is they give you a big bottle of the glue so you might as well use it. Douse the, douse the actual invisible shield with the glue and then you can also if you feel comfortable put it on the actual surface of the device that allows you to maneuver it around a little bit to get it exactly where you need it to be. Just flip this over. Like I said, the more glue that you get on the actual device, the easier it is to get them to slide around a little bit. There we go. It does look, since the 3DS XL does have the curved edges, this does wrap around the 
edges of the device just a little bit. Um, so now what you want to do is you have a lot of, of the glue on the underside of it. Take the squeegee that comes with the kit and go from the, go from the middle and just push all the liquid out. It's good like I have here to have a towel down to catch all of the liquid. Uh, like I said, with these, especially with the curved edges, they're probably going to be a little difficult to get them to stick down. Um, the best way to do is it's a technique called palming. It's to literally put your palm onto the corner of the device and press down for about 15 to 20 seconds to get it to stick. Okay, so we got the back end of it on. Um, the next piece that looks like we're going to do, um, we're getting to a lot of the smaller pieces. Uh, the next piece on the middle on the top part here is going to go across um, the white part on the edge and it'll wrap around over top going around the two clips, the infrared sensor and the charging port on top. Again, the best way to put the glue on it is to lay it out flat in your hand and then spray the glue on it like that. Okay, so most of these pieces are actually going on pretty good. Uh, the last couple pieces for the back side are the SD slot cover, the edge along the edge along the stylus and the SD slot cover, the two the two parts on either side of the volume, and then the final bottom part here. And the final piece for the back is the one that runs all the way along the bottom. There's a piece that runs all the way along the bottom and then a smaller piece that goes on the other side of the headphone jack. very bottom piece that runs from the headphone jack all the way across the uh, the power light and the charging light actually overlaps a little bit onto the lanyard slot um, all that's going to have to do is have that cut off by maybe a quarter of a centimeter is all that that's going to take and that's all there is for the back um, on the front it's a little lot simpler there's just uh, four pieces, one that goes across the entire front of the screen, the white wrap here, and then on each of the hinges of the DS. Again, when you're pulling the larger front piece off, 
uh, there are there are there are holes cut for the two cameras and the light. So you want to make sure that you punch those out with, as you pull the invisible shield off of the paper. Of it wet and as, as well as the surface of the device so that you're able to maneuver it a little bit as you're placing it on. And then again, take your squeegee and go from the center up. Making sure to pull out any of the bubbles on the way. Again, you're on the same problem here as what you do on the back. Um, the edges are curved, so you're going to have to palm uh, the sides of it to make sure that it stays down flat. Um, this will probably take about uh, holding it down with some pressure for probably about 20 or 30 seconds. When you're putting the pieces on the two hinges of the device, uh, start from the back edge nearest to the L and R buttons and then lay it down forward rather than starting from the inside. And then the long piece goes along the middle in between the hinges. Uh, on the long piece, rather than starting from near the back, you want to start this one towards the front. And it'll go to about where the crease in the plastic is on the device. Again, with the smaller pieces, it's easier to do it with your thumbs rather than the squeegee because it'll keep you from pulling on the on the on the invisible shield and displacing it from where you want it to be. And then on the the what the invisible shoes are made for, the actual screen. Uh, this is the one part where you really want to make sure you don't have any fingerprints on it because the invisible shield will seal them in. All the invisible shields come with a small cloth where you can wipe down the inside of your screen and make sure that it's void of all fingerprints and dust. And the last part, it's over by it's all by itself, is the actual screen protector. No notches or holes in or anything like that. You can just peel it off real quick, spray it down. Spray the screen down a little bit. And place it on there. And two more uh, squared off edges and on the actual device the top ends of the screen are rounded off and the bottom ends are, are square so it gives you an idea of how to put it on there
Again, use your squeegee from the middle out. And there you have it. That's the uh, full installation for the Invisible Shield. Uh, maximum coverage on a 3DS XO. This one in particular being the Special Pikachu Edition. Um, some of my final thoughts on the actual screen protector. Uh, I'm not... I'm happy with parts of it. Then other parts I'm not happy with it. Some parts don't seem to be cut very well. Shaped exactly the way they need to be. Uh, for the device and then on another hand there are no actual screen protectors for the inside of the device outside of the top screen so the, there you have it uh, we encourage you to check out so all of our other videos on Unconventional Hacker check out our Facebook page follow us on Twitter and check out our YouTube videos